Hello viewers, this is us and Tiger, back for some more of this series. This time, we have got a surprise. We have episode 52, Spywell Quirrell V2.1, made by Rocket Sparkster. Now, this hack, I picked it up um, a small while ago, like yesterday, and then I fall, fell asleep. Then, a few hours when I woke up, it was already accepted! Right, this hack was accepted on Super Mario Central a few hours after it was put in moderation. That's quite a surprise, to be honest. Usually, hacks tend to get removed after a couple of hours. Not this one! So, since it has been accepted, it must be a good one, right? Let's find out. Spiral Quirrell, and it's already pulling you to the um, um, choice of files. Huh, sure, why not? You don't need a title to actually make something good, I guess. You need to find out the game by yourself. Welcome to Spiral Quirrell. The stage get longer the more you advance through the game. Can you go all the way? Uh, yeah, apparently there's seven levels in this stage. And why I held for the other hack I, I want to do for today, or rather tonight, is because this other one has 35 levels. Also, we have some. Anyway, Final Fantasy III uh, music, The Overworld. Anyway, so let's go to Yoshi's house. Also, the type of letters is similar to the run from Link Awakening on the Game Boy Dungeon of Zelda, in case you weren't sure. Anyway, um, same type of uh, message, except it's a change, because I mean the letter. Anyway, stage 1. Ancient runes. Press A or B to start. Oh, well, I remember playing this game in the past now. Except it was kind of a some time ago. Except I, w I wasn't sure if it was accepted or not. Well, not apparently it has. So yeah, the graphics are looks nice. Doesn't have that much um, the. Well, if I can note something, I. Yes, there's nothing much I can talk about. Could you consider this cut off in some way? Or not? Or maybe it was original design like this. Go down this pipe as you can't make the jump. Huh, I will try anyway. You can't make the jump. Except maybe with a Koopa, but hey! Let's do it legit! That it was intended to be in four sided note locks. I hate those. But hey, what a good hack, right? This should be fun. Is it a four sided one? Oh, also, I love the death music in this game. It was from. Um, I think it was Sonic the Hedgehog. Two for the Game Gear or Sonic Chaos or Tail Chaos. I, I don't know. It was one of the mini games uh, when when you're at some point of um, Sonic the Hedgehog in wait. Oh my gosh! I, Sonic Adventure One DX Direct or Cut. I don't know. I don't know if these little games were in the original one, but hey. Uh, well, there were, there were also mostly for the Genki Hero, so, yeah, I love the death music. So, um, might as well rank it just as well as Ninja Gaiden death music. So, um, yeah, it's far, it looks pretty good, except that the background kind of blends with some of the things, but not that much, so it's not really a problem. A 
As for the music in this, in this level, I can't figure it out because, you know, I don't play all games. So, yeah. Oh, the end. And Super Bomberman 2 victory as you finish the level. Nice! So basically this hack is, yeah, like I said, seven stage long and they get longer and longer as you go. Scorching Desert. Now, I love the music in this level. It's just... HOT! What do I mean by that is... Um, it's hot. You feel like sun wants to slap you in the face just to make you warmer. I don't know. It's just how I feel. I would like to reach that, but I kind of screwed up, so yeah. Also, uh, dead moles. Or at least mole holes, but I'm just gonna say dead moles. It's pretty bright, I gotta tell, but it's not exactly eyesoring. Maybe a little bit, but not really. Got you. Anyway, next area. Oh, now this is a little better. I mean, uh, the ice or is now completely gone. I mean, this color is not um, really something that burns your eye. I mean, you can't re really have your eyes burned by peach color, right? If I'm wrong, please tell me. I seriously find nothing wrong to tell about this game. So far, it's deserving its uh, acceptal or wait. How, how, how can I say this word? I don't know. Well, in any case, it looks good so far. I know the sky is even darker. It's kind of brown now. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate this kind of thing. You know, they're just made of no block that you have to make appear. And I'll have to find the right one, probably completely to the left. Of course it is. At least you don't have time to make the levels. You have all the sweet time you need to explore the level as you want. Now, why is there no blocks in front of this pipe? Can we get rid of them? That's weird, but hey. I'm not. Uh, I'm pretty sure this pipe doesn't have any use at all, right? Oh come on! Also, this fire doesn't seem to be following me at all. It only seems to be like going on a straight line, like what it's supposed to do. And I can't understand that. Now it's really night. Night in the desert is supposed to be cold, so beware. At least I think it's supposed to be cold. But not to the point of being sleepy, which is a good thing because it's not sleepy right now. Mm -hmm. 
However, I do notice something. Is my palette supposed to be a slightly different in here? Or could you consider this because of the icy desert we have here? Or is it really because that there was a slight palette change on Mario? Which was accidental or uh, intentional, I don't know. And more victory! Wow, seriously, this level was a little long. Now let's go for stage 3. The Magma Cave, and there's a secret exit in here. If I remember correctly... Oh, by the way, listen to the music. That is, if you can. Let's get the mic closer. I think there's like 6 or 7 areas in this... And there's like two of them are scrolling. And yeah. I gotta remember which one is scrolling, which one is not. And I gotta also remember where the key is. Because anyway, I'll have to do the level twice. I love the music, even though I have no idea what it is, I like it. Okay, area number two is darker, because you're going deeper, deeper in the cave. With lava that doesn't like and look like strawberry juice. Okay, this is one of my favorite part of the uh, music. Soon enough. That is if I can catch it. Excuse me. I just love that music. Anyway, it's not like it matters. And what? X, Y, and I guess I'm going for the Z. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so what do we have next? Ah! Why did why did I reload this? Uh, I mean it. That that was just stupid. Is there something down here? Lava and that music. Now we're back a little higher, and we have the cheerful color, and back to area four or area five, I guess. And now this is the color is even darker. It's red. Not really ice soaring, except maybe for the lava a little bit. But it doesn't matter, because this lava is... Danger! Whoa, 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 I was falling right there. I assume this is very playable without save state. Even though I'm kind of using some. But that's because I don't want to make this longer than it should. And also levels are pretty long at this state. Now, I don't remember if I played all the levels when I originally played it the first time. Which was quite some time ago, but... Oh, we'll find out. Oh, now it's a scrolling area. Great. Oh yeah, I think I remember what I'm supposed to do here. At this point, I'm supposed to grab a shell... And use one of that sh uh, won't, uh, use that shell to actually reach for the key in the next area. Oh, was it this? I'm not sure anymore. Why do I need a shell? For, if I remember correctly, 
The last time I did this, I actually grabbed a shell in the first or second area and I had to do the whole level with a shell in the hand, not realizing that there was actually a shell soon before. Which is kind of a pain, by the way.